Hey, happy campers, Todd here at Great American RV, and today we're talking about our Xantrax Embers. All right, so we have our Xantrax Freedom X2000 out here. This is the one specifically we're gonna be talking about today. All of them are gonna operate the same as far as your uh, controller on here or your remote on the inside. We're gonna show you in a minute. We're not really gonna to touch much on the one outside. The one inside, like I said, is gonna work the same way. It looks the exact same way. The main thing I wanna show you out here is that we do have our resettable breaker right here. If this thing goes into a fault, we want to hit that reset button on there you'll see it sticking out a little bit that's how you'll know it's tripped we want to make sure that these fans and everything stay uh, clean of dust dirt debris all that stuff because that will affect the cooling on here which can cause alarms uh, stuff like that we're also probably we have our 12 volts coming in right here we can see on the side these are our 12 volt lines in this particular unit behind this panel you're going to have a fuse to that inverter system if you're not getting any 12 volt power right here you want to file that inline fuse and make sure that you have 12 volt power we're going to see our output for our 110 right here uh, to access that stuff you can pull that little knob for the uh, little bit better access but that that's your inverter right there in in a nutshell inverters change 12 volts to 110 so we would use this when we're driving down the road we don't want to run our generator uh, or if we're dry camping, we don't have shore power, we have a residential fridge, we want to go ahead and kick that on to keep it running, or if we want to use some of our outlets, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, remote on the inside and go over how this operates. All right, so this is our Xantrax panel. We aren't plugged in right now, so if you want to invert, you just push that power button and it'll kick in. It'll start showing you your battery voltage and the load with watts under your uh, of your battery system if we hit the scroll button it's going to show our ac output as well as our load output for our hertz our hertz should always be around 60 hertz okay so we can see now our inverter kicked in 120 volts 60 hertz we can see an inverting mode here it's pulling from the battery to our element here we can see our little load percentage right here, so we're not pulling too much. If we hit our scroll button again, this is going to give us the firmware version of our actual inverter. Hit it again, this is a firmware version of our remote right here. Hit it again, it's gonna bring us back to that first screen uh, that was showing zero, zero earlier. We can see our battery level is at 13.3, and then our load is 103, 103 watts. As far as our lights right here, our top light, when that one is green, it is going to mean we are plugged into shore power. This second one that's green means we're inverting. This last one would be flashing red. That means that we have a fault in our system. We can scroll through, check what that fault is. There are some different settings in here. If we hold down that OK button for a couple seconds, this will bring us to our settings. We can scroll through and according to our owner's manual what our settings are scroll through and change some of these items if we want to change that setting we have to hit ok until that numeral is flashing and then one quick push of the scroll button until it beeps it will go up if we hold it down for a couple of seconds it will go down So short pushes to go up, long pushes to go down to change the settings on here. When we are satisfied with it, we hit OK, and then we can scroll to our next setting. To get out of that settings menu, hit Escape. Hold it down for a second, it'll bring us back to our main thing. Now we're not gonna go over all the settings on here. Most of the time, if it's already come with your unit, it's set up, I wouldn't go change anything unless you change your batteries for these. So go to your owner's manual if you wanna change settings. We're not gonna go through all that. Same thing for errors on there. Most of your errors are gonna be low voltage stuff. You'll have uh, errors and, and faults that pop up. It's cause our battery voltage is too low. 
We'll show you the little breaker on the inverter too. If this stops working, we'll show you where that little breaker is and a couple fuses on your system as well, depending on what type you have. So we'll cover that now. There is a Bluetooth function on here. I highly suggest you download the Bluetooth app, Xantrax uh, app, download it, connect it on here. The settings and everything are so much easier to set, change, all that stuff. So if you're really into monitoring this and taking that deeper dive into setting it up to your particular system, or if you just installed it, download that Bluetooth app and it goes so much further. I'll even put a link down at the bottom of another guy that did uh, that goes over the Bluetooth app uh, because I'm not going to redo what he did. He already did a good job. Uh, it, it is really good. Click that link. You can watch the Bluetooth stuff. I don't care if you're into technology or not. If you want to use your inverter system, download that Bluetooth app. It is uh, much better, much friendlier than this remote panel right here. One other thing I'll point out for your Xantrax system, if you have a version that actually has a built-in charger, whenever you're plugged in, you'll see the little battery meter right there. Uh, let's see, this one right here actually start to uh, go up and down, and that means that system is charging. This system does not have the built-in charger. This unit has a separate converter that charges. So when it's plugged in, it's not necessarily going to show that. So just keep that in mind, depending on what, ty what type of system you have, uh, we'll decide what those controls on there say. Uh, that wraps up pretty much everything on the Xantrax. Pretty simple little system. Most of them come plug and play if they're already installed in your unit. Like I said, if you installed it, you're going to want to go through those settings and set it up to how your batteries are, the load, so on and so forth, what your alarms are. Uh, but that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. We'll try to answer them. Keep following at Great American RV. We got plenty of videos on here that go over component stuff. We're here at Great American RV. We're bringing the how to to you. Click, like, follow, share, all that stuff. Watch some more videos. There's probably one on the screen right here. Later.